It's a container ship traffic jam. The twin ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach, the biggest in the Western Hemisphere, are packed with giant ships, bringing a flood of consumer goods from Asia. In terms of the amount of cargo coming in, uh, we have not seen anything like it. We've broken records here month after month after month at the Port of Los Angeles. Ship traffic here is up 50% over 2019. And it's not just here in California. All around the world, from Rotterdam to Singapore, a surge in exports is putting a major strain on global supply chains and its network of ships and containers. It's crunch time, really, in uh, the container terminals as they struggle to get imports out and uh, exports in. The reason, COVID-19. For months, U.S. consumers were under lockdown, cooped up at home with nowhere to go. So they went online and started buying stuff like crazy. Instead of going to the movies or using their discretionary income on travel or airline tickets, vacation, baseball games, Americans started spending. The spending spree was supercharged by trillions in U.S. government payments. And it was really fueled by the uh, Stimulus provided uh, by uh, the American politicians to the American consumers that, uh, that set basically the uh, Trans-Pacific trade lane on fire. People are buying, ports are busy. Economically, that seems like a good thing. But as with everything else in life, there's no such thing as a free lunch. The surge has led importers and exporters to compete with one another for scarce vessels and containers, driving up the price of shipping. Prices are up 300 to 500 percent across the board. And who do you think will pay in the end? You've probably guessed it. It's really a significant increase, and there's going to be a trickle-down effect from this price increase into consumer uh, prices. Pandemonium in the ports and in the supply chain. Better get ready for higher prices and scantier supplies. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, at the port of Los Angeles.